I want my fans to know that I haven't deceived them in any way, shape, or form. Pop superstar Paula Abdul sees red and says her backup singer is green with envy over a platinum record. Entertainment Tonight has the controversy for Thursday, April 11, 1991. Everybody, I'm Mary Hart. And I'm John Tesh. And Paula Abdul came out swinging today in the latest Who Really Sang It controversy to hit the pop music world. Earlier this week, a backup singer claimed three songs on Abdul's multi-platinum album, Forever Your Girl, were more like duets. Is the lead vocal on Paula Abdul's hit, Opposites Attract, really a combination of two singers? Abdul herself and background singer on the album, Yvette Marine. This morning, Paula held a press conference to address the question. I sing the lead vocals on every single song of the Forever Your Girl album. I put a lot of work into that album, and I'm very proud of it. Abdul also said she agreed with her label, Virgin Records, that Marine's allegations filed in a lawsuit last Monday were an attempt to obtain Marine a recording contract. For someone to come out of nowhere this week, three years after the album was recorded, to diminish my work, and cast doubts on my integrity and my reputation. I could not sit still and remain silent. Here's Maureen's reaction to today's press conference. I think that she's absolutely right. She did sing all of the lead vocals. No one ever said that she didn't. I'm just saying that I know that my guide vocal was definitely used as well. The lawsuit claims Maureen was paid union scale as one of three backup singers on Paula's 1988 album, Forever Your Girl and that Marine recorded what is known as a guide track or temporary recording of the lead vocal to guide Paula in her final performance. It is this guide track that Marine alleges was added to and used to enhance Abdul's own lead vocal. I went into the studio and recorded my lead vocals on opposite a track. It is my lead vocal. Financially, the difference between a backup singer and a lead singer can be substantial. Backups are paid once, lead vocalists may share in the royalties which were the three disputed songs on Forever Your Girl, by some estimates, could bring Marine more than a million bucks. Meanwhile, the controversy continues. If they still want me to deny this, I'm just not going to back down. I have to stand up. So I'm here today because I have to speak out and I have to fight back, especially for my fans. I want my fans to know that I haven't deceived them in any way, shape, or form. By the way, some record buyers filed a class action suit yesterday in Chicago accusing Paul Abdul and Virgin Records of not acknowledging that a backup singer helped with the lead vocals. The suit asks the record company to reimburse